Okay, everybody, welcome to this video. It's uh, the 29th of January, 2024. Uh, crude is about to open in one and a half minutes. So I'm on a five minute chart here. I'm gonna show you what I'm, what I'm gonna do. And it's just very simple price action trading. And basically what we're looking for is um, either a continuation to the downside here. That's typically when you have the low of a green candle being taken out or um, a continuation to the upside. Well, not really continuation, but more like a reversal to the upside here. And that's typically what you get when the high of a red candle gets taken out. And when I say gets taken out, it should get taken out with the very next candle, right? So if I have like a red candle right here, the next one should have taken out the high to indicate weakness of the bears and a potential reversal to the upside. And you can see here there's a red candle and there's a green one. And if we take out the low of the green one right here with the next candle, that is a bearish sign, right? It's very simple, very, very simple. It's just looking at the market participants and trying to understand what this, this, the power struggle is between the bulls and bears. That's all it is. And that's what the candles will show you. So now it's nine o'clock. You can say this, you can say that about when does oil really open? When does gold really open to trade? In equities, it's always very clear cut. The futures, they open at 9.30 Eastern time. Um, here in oil, you can, for the most part, say that nine o'clock Eastern time is um, you know, a starting signal. You can also see this in terms of the price action now, and it's, it's moving, it's doing its thing um, with the volume right here. Even though the, the pre-market volume was already leading up into the open, right? But typically, you know, nine o'clock, like yesterday, like on Friday last week, you can see the nine o'clock is, is the first big spike. And we should be seeing this here as well, right? So we are one minute in and we already have a volume of the last five minutes reached pretty much, right? So this is like the, um, this is really where the race starts off, right? In gold, that's way more difficult because it's thinly traded. Sometimes you might see action at eight o'clock, sometimes at 8.30, at nine, at 10. Uh, it gets very, very fuzzy there. So um, that's, that's tricky. And typically gold will just have one move and that's, that's it. And then it goes back to bed. Um, in oil, more can happen. And obviously the equities, way more can happen as well during the day, okay? So that's that's the story. I'm just going to show you this here. Let's uh, hang on. Buy sell buttons just for immediate entry exit. I'm just going to show you what I'm looking for, and then we'll see if we are lucky or not. Right. So all I'm doing here is I'm speculating on being on the right side of the trend, whatever that might be—a reversal now, or maybe it breaks down again—and then we just wait until we are up, like ideally. 50 to 60 cents, then we can move the stop to break even. If we then hit the dollar profit, we take it off and call it a day. But I'm most likely going to work with two contracts. So we're going to take also profits at 50 cents in one of them, move the stop to break even. And then if the other one goes up another 50 cent, awesome. If it doesn't, then it just doesn't. And we still made money and we can walk away happily and don't have to sit here for six hours, right? So all this should be over in less than an hour. That's the idea, right? These opening plays in, in oil, you can backtest them. You just go to the 9 a.m., look what it does on the five minute chart, or maybe you want to look at a 30 minute chart or whatever. And then you can try to figure out what is the typical behavior of oil when it opens? What is typical for candle action in trends? not just in oil, but all over the place um, to identify trends, right? That's that's really what the situation is and what, what you need to be looking for. Um, and you will find that the equities, they don't really give you such good 
early entry opportunities, they usually just fade um, during the first 30 minutes, 45 minutes. So they, you know, will not stick to the initial trend. The same can obviously also happen in oil, but oil tends to be a bit more volatile and directional, I find. Some people might not agree with it. Some might support this claim. Um, um, I think, you know, from back testing, I can most likely attest to the fact that this thing um, has better probabilities of success than trading equities in the first hour or so, right? So the candle here is about to close in, in a minute. For now, it's green. And what I'm waiting for is I want to trade to the upside. I want to have a red candle. If I want to trade to the downside, I want the lower of a green candle to be taken out. Right? I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I want to have some awareness here. There are some FIP levels. They're based on Friday's session. This would the red line is a 618 retracement. Maybe if we hit it, we might bounce. So I'm just having very few horizontal levels here in this chart. Um, but for now, I'm not you know that concerned about them, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a trade on, but it's just going to be a stop sell order or sell stop order. If we hit this down here, we are going to sell. I'm also going to put one at the top here. I want to be a few cents away. So the high was at 65. Uh, I'll put this somewhere here. And then we're going to buy two, just one. It's two, and we would do the same thing down here we'll buy two contracts. And we all want to have the same follow through. So again, 65. So I'm going to add. And so we hit, hit like 68, and down here the low was 41. So we want to go to 38. Yeah, all right. So we get proper follow through. This one here to the upside would not be my ideal candidate. So I'm just going to demonstrate it for now. If we take this out, then okay, we are long. But ideally, I want to see the low being taken out plus three ticks. And then we might get a continuation of this downtrend. That would be way more interesting. And now we wait. So as I explained, the likelihood that the trend can resume to the downside, I believe is increased if we take out the law of green candle, which means that the bulls have not only failed to defend their candle, right, but the bears are actually taking control. Um, they are negating a bullish candle. They're negating the, the trend that this candle might represent and vice versa. If the bulls are able to take out the high of a red candle. They will eliminate that candle. They will eliminate the ensuing trend that this candle might have represented. And those are both signs of strength. This is not just to say, okay, we are green here and we are green again. That's bullish, okay. But it's even stronger if the bulls are able to take out the high of a red candle and vice versa. If we have a series of red candles here, it's even more impressive if the bulls are able to take out the high of a red candle. And this is how I come up with these ideas, right? So this is why this buy stop here is just for, how can I say, informational purposes, maybe educational purposes, whatever. But this is not what I would usually trade, right? This is just if we get another follow through with a green candle, okay, Let's see what happens. But I'm more interested in seeing this break to the downside. All right, and as we go along, even if you know we have candles change in, in color or something, then we'll adjust it accordingly until we get into a trade, and it's not going to take long. Or we'll get into one. Sometimes you might have a nine o'clock candle that is basically a candle that is representing um, indecisiveness, like for example, this guy right here. See. 
the open and the close is at 7807, right? You can hardly, there's no body, right? If you get a candle like this for the open, I'm not doing anything, right? right? This is nothing you, you can you can use. And also if you get um, candles with very slim bodies and a lot of wicks, that already tells me that the market is a bit, you know, indecisive. And also if you get inside candles or inside bars, right? So candles that cannot take out the previous bars high or low, that's also a sign of indecisiveness. Right. And that's that's also something to be very aware of that it can already tell you that the market doesn't know where it wants to go. It can always still develop a trend, yes, but you know it's not very likely to do it. And we're actually developing something like this here. If we if we don't break the low in the next 40 seconds, we'll have a situation like this. And then I'll probably, you know, tell you another caveat. The first one being I didn't I wouldn't really consider going long here. And the second caveat being I wouldn't even like to trade today because we get an inside bar right off the open. Okay. So that's just something I want to throw out there. But I want to show something today. Um, so we, we want to get a trade on and just see how we manage it. All right. So now we have only 10 seconds left. I'm going to move that away. We now have a red candle. What is the low of the red candle here? 77.39. So we put it to 36. But it's not really what I want. And the high now is what I want. 77.63 plus 3. So 77.66 is what I'm way more interested in. If we can take that out. Okay. Thirty nine takes us to thirty six. Not what we really what we want. And the sixty three takes us to sixty six, which is more interesting. So we will wait. So from back testing, we know that we need to give it some extra ticks here, some extra sense. You don't want to get sucked into trades that just take out the high or the low by one cent then it completely reverse. You want to see a bit more um, power in whoever's in control or starting to be in control by not just taking out one tick, but a little bit more. But on the other hand, you cannot really have it, you know, take out 10 cents first because then there's nothing left with profits, right? I'm looking for a dollar profit, ideally. 50 cents is already good. And that's all it is. So now we might actually take out the low. Again, this is not really where we want to go, but we'll take it. So we've got something to do today. And there we are. So I'm going to move the buy stop all the way up there so it doesn't get in the way. Our stop loss is now the high of this candle, which was at, or is at 63. We are now put it at 66. And there's one more thing I want to do now, which is to see, okay, where was my entry at 36, right? So that would take us to what is that? 86 down here for 50 cents, right? 86 down here. And here I would uh, buy not two, but only one. I'm doing this in a manual way here because Trading you will always try to adjust, um, you know, the numbers of the of the contracts, etc. So I, I'm not really interested in that. So if we hit this, we'll take one off and move the stop to break even. I might even move the stop to break even a little bit earlier for both of the positions. We'll see. Price action so far is really slow, really really slow. And again, it's not our favorite direction we are trading right now. Mm 
very much like to see the high to be taken out. But for that, we should typically not have the situation where the low is taken out first, then it rallies all the way up, takes out the high. That's usually not what we want to see. That's another symbol that the market is not strong either way, but that it's basically undecided. So we can also, because that starts in 50 minutes as well, then look at equities. So we're not confining ourselves too much here to oil. We just leave that running and then we will look at equities. You can see that the buy limit here is fairly close to the 618. That can help to give us some added confidence unless we turn around just above 618 or at 618 and we wouldn't get that fill but even then i would um, uh, move the stop to break even if we touch 618 and then reverse it's just what it is but i don't want to sacrifice another one would that be six cents here like from the 86 to say 92 um, to accommodate just you know touching 618 reversing Right, I want to have 50 cents here. But it's very, very slow today. Very slow. Today is Monday, there's basically no macro news coming out. Um, there's, there's literally nothing. Dallas Fed, Manufacturing Index, Bill Auctions, that's it. So the markets are just going to be left to their own devices and just moving around and hopefully be somewhat directional. Taking out a high of a red candle here is obviously not a good sign for us, right? That indicates that the bulls have woken up. And so far we have not really seen anything to the downside yet. And again, stressing for the third time, not ideal to trade this to the short side. In fact, there might be people now who have entered this to the long side, took it out by two cents, the high, would not be enough for everybody. And then they might try to just long it here with a stop just down here, which gives them fantastic low risk, right? That's just 15 cents or something. 
but we are in the trade we don't change anything we just watch it we have our target set our stop set we have a very clear plan and we are just executing it we are not monkeying around here we don't care if the candles start turning green and going up against us or whatever right they might deflate again and then go the other way so the most important thing is not to deviate from your your trading plan you can also draw the position that we have entered here to something like this so now we know the stop is there our target is down here the risk reward here is not that great but for me personally the risk reward doesn't mean anything because i don't know what my reward will be yes i'm going to take half of the position off here at profit that's okay and then the other one will just continue running hopefully so we can collect a dollar but the chance for this happening today is only 25 percent so roughly you every fourth day you will get a one dollar move that you can hopefully participate in all right so some people will say well that risk reward ratio one to one six seven is is crap you should trade at least one to two one to three one to four well it depends on what you know like what the situation is with the underlying right if if i can figure out for back testing that typical sweet spot in oil might be to you know have it run 50 cents move a stop loss to break even get some partials and then leave the other thing on that's good enough that's good enough right if you obviously trade one to one or less then something is off right you always want to make more than you would lose so from that perspective there's nothing wrong here And as we've witnessed, taking this out by two cents was fake because it took out the low after that. And uh, that's why you want to operate with a bit more of, of a cushion here. So I use those three cents. Sometimes it's just, it's just pure luck sometimes. But if you run back testing and you come across those occurrences where you need three or four extra ticks you will look at the majority of them and say okay what covers the majority how can i avoid the majority of negative occurrences by adjusting the the follow-through threshold and the stop loss threshold very simple So before the equities open in about seven minutes, I'll get something to drink and we'll be right back. The fact that we have taken out the high 
of a, of a red candle here is a warning sign either way. Um, this can be an early warning sign that, you know, the, the down move might stop at some point. Okay. We take this this out, this high. Um, then we might flip the trade. That's typically something I do, which means I try it one way first. If it doesn't work, I go the other way. But I use the initial candle, this guy right here. So I'm going to move that down. So we don't just get stopped out here with the short position if we go here. We'll just flip it into a long position. Once we start looking at equities, things are going to get a little bit busy. Moving back and forth, I'm only going to look at the NQ because that's the most volatile of them. We might get a strongest move out of. And yeah, with oil, I can only say I'm not really impressed by the price action. It's just very sluggish and it's not that clean. It's also because, you know, you can see the low here is just two cents. Here it's two cents. It's it's violating a clean a clean move. And that's what I don't like about it. So what we can do is, if we get more into profit, around. 30 cents, so we ended at 36. If you go to 06 down here, I might already move my uh, stop loss. All right. So we get here, then I'm actually going to highlight that. Here's the 06 level. If we get there, I'm just going to put the stop to, to break even because I don't, I don't like how this is not very clean right now. What might happen now is we, they're, they're already challenging to take out the high here, right? That's what they're already challenging. So in the NQ, we're going to use the same strategy. And see what we get out of that. I still have not done the same back testing in the NQ. And I don't think that it will work the same way. So the NQ is a test bed. The whole idea behind this, the strategy right off the open is you want to be done with the trading as quickly as possible. Um, and that's usually when you get the most volatility. That's when you need to be on the right side of the trend. And then you just cash in and you walk away. That's the whole idea behind it. And as always, you need to be able to lose. Because if you don't, if you cannot do that, then there's no point in this endeavor at all. So see, you can see we're now taking out the high of the screen candle. So it, it indicates a reversal here, right? I wouldn't be surprised if we, if we get stopped out and then we switch the trade. We have seen the signs here already. We have seen the sluggishness here. So I'm not surprised that they are starting to turn it around now. The question is how high can they push it? Can they really stop us out? Or is it just a bit of a fluke here and then we'll continue to go down? But we have 
more and more of a sign that the bulls might be taking control. But in any case, we can speculate about it. We can look at some early signs. We're not being changing not anything about our existing position. We leave it on. We either get stopped out or we make money. It's very simple. And we are patient. If things don't work today, they might work tomorrow. So we just come back. We do that every day. Right, so I'm going to leave this on here, leave it running. Things are basically defined here. It's all good. So let's go to the NQ and we're just going to watch the open as it happens right now there it is maybe zoom out a little bit and see what the first five minute candle is going to look like i have way more levels drawn in here i'm actually still want to draw one more which is the 815 uh, sorry the 830 open and i'm going to also do that in the other ones real quick so our 830 right here and why am is here let's see why 830 is there it's the same with the midnight open it seems so i'm going to zoom out a little bit take a look at it this looks fairly bullish Everything looks bullish also on larger time frames right now. Here as well. See if we reverse here. Maybe we'll do that. This already looks a lot like, like chop, but we'll see. So we just focus here on um we just focus here on the NQ. I'm trading the NQ here. But now we wait for this candle to close for the initial candle and then we'll decide what we do. Let's go back to oil. This oil is finally going down a little bit more. Just zoom in. So it was a bit of chop. But this is still, again, it's still a warning sign. Here we are, the five minute again. So you can see we're about to hit the 30. There we are. I don't need that one anymore. So I'm going to move the stop already to break even. Because of what we have seen here, I didn't really like that. And now it would be nice to hit the 618, a little bit further below, take off half the position. We need to see strength in this candle. So it's, it's a fairly large candle now. If this goes all the way back, I wouldn't be at all interested in doing anything here. However, I would still entertain the idea of flipping a trade. But once we collect here, we're not flipping trades anymore. Once we made money, we'll keep the money. And then we call it a day. Not trying 
a second time, a third time, and lose it all. It's completely pointless. The open is where the volatility should be, and it's been a very slow open here in oil. Very slow. All right, so that's still doing its thing. Um, let's go back to the NQ. Oh, no, it's already a big wick here. Oh, you can really see it that, that well because of the color of color in the background. If the candle closes like this, I'm not doing anything. Right. And even now, this is a fairly large risk candle. Right. This is not great. Let's take a look at the ES. It's doing the same thing. YM, RTY is going the other way. Or still the other way. I'm going to be more stringent here. I'm only going to go long if we see a red candle sigh being taken out. That's all we're doing. So, oil still there. Be patient and see what we get. Q. This is already the second candle. You can see it's taking out the high. Not taking that. That's the, the range here, you know. Price, if you really want to trade this to the long side with sort of like the secondary quality setup, you might want to wait for price to give you a better entry, right? And not just buy it at a follow through. I mean, the range here is, um, what is that, 30, 30 points, right? It's not crazy, but at the same time, maybe that's not what you're looking for. The other thing is, if you take some levels into consideration, you can see there's a daily gap here. We would run right into it. Maybe it works, but you never know, right? The question always is, you know, if, if you have large risk, I wouldn't call this crazy or anything, but if you have certain risk level, is it worth taking it? And the answer is very simple. The larger the risk, the less people are going to try it and the market might just run away from it, right? So you might very well be rewarded. Right? You can see what's happening here, right? Let's go back to oil. Almost hit our buy limit. So it already went to 618. Let's see if it goes a little bit lower. And again, you know, if you like secondary setups, here's your setup. Took out the high, boom. Probably have your stop already at break even. It's up like 20, 20 points or something. Whenever people think too much about, you know, certain levels or something, and I, I have those levels drawn too, but, you know, sometimes those levels, they just get completely ignored, right? It's gonna also happen. It's easing back a little bit here. We'll see what happens there. Let's see what the other ones are doing. The same with the um, ES. It's the YM. And then the Russell is just doing the complete opposite right now. That's not unusual. 
the Russell has its own mind, kind of, right? But you see the quality here is not that great. You get little gaps here, also down here. This is still pre-market, so that's not that terrible, but a lot of indecisiveness here, a lot of um, wicks. So I, I don't like open an opening action like this at all, visually, right? Same here, right? big wig. Everywhere. Okay, let's go back to um, oil. So you can see here that it has reached the first target. So I'm not interested in flipping anymore, as I said. So I'm going to take that off. What I'm interested in now is I want to see, see the target here, it says 50 cents, right? So we're going to extend and now it says 56, 68, etc. So let me just adjust this a little bit. Now we want to see where we can go to like a dollar. Now the target is 1.00, that's a dollar from our entry. And our stop is at break even already. So the target point here for the second contract is just down here. That's what we want to get. So to collect a grant from that one contract plus the other 500, and then we can just walk away. But it's absolutely not certain that we'll hit it, right? So that's what it is. We have to watch price a little bit, but for the most part, we just have to be patient. Just have to be patient. It's interesting to watch price action here at the 618 to see if there's any tendency to reverse here. Right? This is the 618 level from Friday session. So we'll see. So far, it seems that price doesn't care about it too much, but this can always change. So we just took out the low of this red candle. So it's suggesting trend continuation for now. Let's go back to the NQ. So you can see it's also thinking about reversing here. Let's see if that will hold at all. So for, you know, just for practical purposes and getting some ideas here about um, a potential trade we could have, sorry, this is the wrong side. Potential trade we could have taken, you know, just an entry somewhere here. But then you have to put your stop down there. So you remember in oil, we had a risk reward of 1.66. So to reach that here, look where we have to go. Somewhere there, right? So it's still some good way to go up. And this is not even such a good risk reward. You know, when you, as I said, you know, in, in theory, when you read the books, they're just like one to two, one to three. Well, let's just do one to two. If you want to reach that, we have to surpass this whole daily gap here. Not sure if it's going to work. Right? The other thing is, if you want a cheaper price, a better entry, let's say halfway down here, sure, I mean, you can try that. The problem is the market will show weakness as it goes down, especially when it goes down later. Right? Do you still want to buy something that shows you the weakness? It would have been much nicer for the next candle to first take out the high, come back a little bit, give you that opportunity rather than having that later. But even, even with the next candle, if it takes out the high first, you have your signal, right? But then the bulls lose it, right? They lose it all the way and say half into the candle. That's typically also not very good. So I really, really prefer to get in right away when they take out the high or the low. That's, that's the best thing to do. That, that just, you know, that, that gives me the confidence to say, okay, I tried it at a point where they were strong. I didn't try it at a point where they were weak, where they were just pulling back. And for now, they're just doing their thing, right? Still going. So this is what the trade would be, would look like. Um, I guess in the NQ, you want to have a, uh, 
what is that 60 points here target right and 30 points loss yeah so typical move in the nq yeah you can work with like 60 70 points i guess so I'll just leave it here and we'll see what happens and then obviously the question also is when do you want to um, bring your your stock to break even right now it would probably still be too early this can still stop around um, and have to wait and see if we get any weakness here right if we take out the low here of this candle as it is forming now it's going to be finished in a minute uh, that would be a first sign of weakness right let's go back to to oil so it really seems that it didn't care too much about 618 it's not trying to reverse at all. Seven eight six is the next level. Sometimes price can turn in between six one eight seven eight six. That can be a fairly typical reversal area. So what I'm going to do now is. Um, I actually wouldn't mind also bringing down the um, the uh, stop for the current contract that we have on. I'm a bit hesitant still. Let's see what we get here with price action. We bring this down here. Uh, the stop is sitting behind it. That's always a bit difficult here to see. Let's see if we deactivate the stop. Do you now have it back here so you can play with it? So this is how much you get if you bring it down. You get another hundred eighty dollars secured if you bring the, the stop down. But we'll just leave it at entry and wait. And watch this price action here. As soon as we start taking out highs, then I'll become a little bit more alert. And then obviously things can happen very quickly when, when that is the case, right? So what's the NQ doing? Yeah, it's starting to fail. Do you see this? We took out the low of the red candle here suggesting that this gap is preventing us from going higher you see they're still trying it now but even if we take out the high this is already suspicious to me we don't want to get engulfed things and inside bars and stuff like that we want clean trends so we need to read the price action constantly to get first warning signs, right? And obviously we were really, really far away from getting anywhere to a one to two risk reward. And my issue with the risk reward is very simple. You don't know what the reward will be. You can only make assumptions. But if you run straight into a daily gap, then you can see what's happening now, right? I would now be very nervous. I would probably go to break even with the stop. And this would most likely want to stop me out now. Because this is such strong action now for a fade and a reversal. So my stop wouldn't be down there anymore. I wouldn't, I just wouldn't like the price action, it would be just right around here now. And yes, the price can still turn around, just taking or shaking out the weak hands, but I don't have money to give away, right? Capital preservation is, is super important. See, now I would be out of the trade, right? So we can delete that here. So it's good we didn't take it, right? So why didn't we take it? long wick here usually not that great um, running into a daily gap that has price had failed before twice and we violated the law here of a red candle suggesting a reversal 
And this is when the long trade is getting really dangerous. But price can just chop down here and then reverse all the way. That's absolutely possible. Right, this is the games the market might like to play. So here in oil, we're getting, it seems we're getting like an inside bar, which is not that great. I'm going to start tightening this now. I have to, I have to stop loss up here. I'm going to put this here, 160 bucks. So we just collect something from that second contract. If we go all the way up here, then we, we just collect and walk away for the day. That's good enough. Indeed, it seems it's it's turning into this inside bar here, right? And we are between 618, 786. So this could start to turn around here, which wouldn't be that great. And I wouldn't like to see the high of this guy or that guy to be taken out, right? So there's the inside bar. I'm going to move this down further, securing $400, or maybe this is not $410, just $400. At 93 plus three ticks, that's good enough. So if we get stopped out here, it means two things. We would have taken out the high of a green candle, indicating a reversal. And if you also take out the high of the red candle, that's even worse, so to say, right? And then the free ticks extra cushion, if we also take those ones out, then there's no point staying in this trade, I think. So I'm securing the second contract here because we might not go all the way down. We are in this reversal spot here. So what's the NQ doing? Okay, so it took out People who are thinking like me, I guess, but I don't have no regrets about it. This is perfectly fine. Long wick again, right? Long wick candle, indecisiveness. This was also long wick. This one here. This is going to be a chop day, most likely. Might be wrong. But it's also because there's just nothing on the news front. The only thing that's coming up is tomorrow is the Joel job openings report, which can shake markets a little bit. And then we have interest rate decision by the Fed on Wednesday. We have NFP, non-farm payrolls on Friday. So today, there isn't really much to do. There isn't just much to do. So let's take a look at oil again. You can see that it's not moving down anymore, right? It's just sitting there. This is where we would love it to go, but I don't think we'll go there. Obviously, yeah, you can see here as we were trending, the activity has picked up. And these bars after this really slow open. So 9.30 it was today that there was really action coming into oil together with the open of the um, equity market. But again, if you go back and look at all these days when oil typically, you know, gets first spike in volume. It happens earlier. Typically has, happens at about 9, 9 o'clock, right? Today, again, we can look at the volume. There it is. So, in fact, we started here, but we also had higher volume right around 9 o'clock, right? So, we never really know. And again, if, if you look at gold, which has already moved, look at the volume here. There's a spike at 840. Then nothing happens. Next one is also at 930. It goes down already. Right. It's actually a pretty good move here. 830 is 
also a time for goal to do something, kind of, right? And I don't even know if I was drawing anything that is up to date here. Hang on. No, this is old. This is from first day, these levels. Let me just draw them as they should be. But you can see this is way too extended here. I wouldn't have done anything. Gold is a tricky one, tricky customer. I'm not, not so interested in it. Okay, what's happening in oil land? We are starting to reverse, right? We're about to be stopped out with our second contracts. So we're taking out the first high, second one, we already almost took it out. Let me just uh, hide that again, you can see a little bit better. We already took that out by one tick. Now if we come back and take out the two extra ticks or what it is, which you're most likely going to do, then uh, that's it. If you're more aggressive, you might just move this down more and just deliberately get stopped out. I mean, it gets you another hundred bucks, right? You could do that, right? Or maybe some people wait if this turns red, they just move it down, and, but uh, that's okay. I just leave it on. This is, it's my stop plus three ticks. It must be good enough, right? If you continue to take out highs, like this one right now, if they also take out that high. Um, why, why would I think this will ever go down again, right? So the high here is 94. I can give it one extra tick. Here at 96, just at 90, sorry, 94, I mean 97, sorry. This is, would be 97. And see, even that will get taken out now, most likely. And this is all the chance, uh, chances I can give it, right? This wants to go up, it seems. This is just way, going way too sideways here. So we don't need to watch this all the time. Oh, well, now we're going to get taken out here. Just when you say it, it doesn't do it. Let's go to NQ. Yeah, see this price action sucks. It just sucks. This already tells me this will be a market that doesn't know what to do with itself today. Maybe I'm wrong, but the open looks terrible. You see this is all here. This is just such a mess. Same here. RTY is starting to reverse. But it's also chopping around this daily gap. So it's just so not interesting right now what's happening in, in equities. And gold has its move. It's going to go back to bed soon. It's just done. Just done for today. Again, what is, what is the opening time for gold? Nobody really knows, I would say. And what happened? What's happening here? How can we conclude this video? We're getting stopped out at a profit. It might happen soon. So all the signs here that this will reverse. And again, people might be way more aggressive than I am and deliberately getting stopped out already looking at this. I wouldn't blame them. And we came close as one tick from hitting it.
So we would have then made 890 total profit in, uh, in oil today, the 500 from the initial contract and then the second contract here we are now at 390. So that's not too bad, right? 890 bucks and there we are. That's the end of this trade. Thank you very much. Okay guys, so let's take a look at NQ one more time. See now it's starting to really come down. So, you know, and obviously oil, just to, to say that, now it's going up, right? <clears throat> 618786, right? These are the levels. Let me just show you that again on the hourly chart. And then I'm going to show you this based on Friday, right? So this is Friday. This is the whole range of the day. FIPS get anchored here. This is the 618, the red line. Here's the 618 pullback from up here. And 786 is like the line in the sand. If you hit that, it's probably not going to bounce. But, you know, it got caught here for reversal. And this is what we started seeing here, right? By not taking out the lows anymore, by having an inside bar, by starting to take out, you know, the highs and another high, right? And this is when you have to get out of the trade. It's very simple. You see, they're just pushing it up now. And it's almost back to where we entered, right? But we, we collected what we could, okay? Even if you wait for these reversals, um, you know, we wouldn't have quite collected those those 50 cents down here, right? We would have ended up somewhere here. So this is why you want to just set certain targets and that's it, okay? All right, I think that should be enough for today. So thank you much for watching. Um, take care and talk to you soon. Bye.